An LGBTQ documentary that raised concerns with some community members will stay on the shelves of the Lafayette Library. A committee decided not to ban the DVD tonight. Some community members say the fight isn't over. News 10's Britt LaFasso spoke with the woman who raised concerns over the DVD and others in the community who say the library board shouldn't be considering banning library materials. Britt joins us live from the Lafayette Library. Britt. Hey, Dalford, people at the meeting tonight tell me this isn't just about banning books and DVDs. This is about censorship. It's also about exactly who should have the power to be restricting these materials. And I said this should not be at a respectable, you know, library for anybody to rent. When Catherine LaFleur checked out a DVD called Scotty and the Secret History of Hollywood, she says she was disturbed by some of the scenes containing nudity and sex. And to me, that's more of a porn type piece that should be in porn, not in a documentary. She asked the library's reconsideration committee to ban the DVD, though they ultimately denied to Wednesday night. It's the third time in the last year the committee has reviewed an LGBTQ book or DVD and considered banning it. Matthew Humphrey says it feels targeted. As the president of PFLAG Lafayette, an organization that was started to sort of uh, advocate for the LGBTQ community here, um, yeah, I take great issue with uh, any sort of measures to try to silence any minority voices at the local library. Humphrey and other community members say library board members shouldn't even have the power to censor materials. It is up to a parent to censor the material that their children are exposed to. Uh, the library does not act in place of a parent. Many spoke up to voice their opinions of why they believe this kind of censorship is dangerous. You may not agree with the item that's being discussed today, but tomorrow this could be something that you really value. Some book or some DVD that your family checks out, that your family reads, and then it's taken away. Many people also spoke up tonight about exactly who should have the power to restrict these materials. The recommendation committee used to be made up of two librarians and one library board member, but in the last meeting, the library board voted to change that. Now it's made up of two board members and one librarian, and many people are concerned about this because now the library board members have the majority voting power to restrict library materials. Reporting live in Lafayette Parish, Britt LaFosso, KLFY News 10.